I would say 9.8 times out of 10, getting a walk-on tryout is not as easy as emailing one coach, then you get a response saying, hey, you got your walk-on tryout, be here at 7 a.m. on da 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 It's not that easy. What's going on, y'all? It's Sam Still with a walk-on coach. And man, I have been seeing your comments. I've been seeing your votes on my post. And I understand that one of the first obstacles you encounter in this walk-on experience is even before you become a walk-on, and that's getting a freaking walk-on tryout. Why is it so hard? In fact, a lot of us never receive a response on those emails. I can give you three reasons off the top of my head for why you're not getting responses on those emails. But first, can y'all do three things for me? The first thing is to subscribe to the channel. The second thing is to like the video so that more people can see the video and specifically more walk-ons can see the video and get the information they need. And third, visit the website in the description, thewalkoncoach.com and there you can enter in your name and your email to stay locked in and that's how you'll get access to the deep insider information that is critical for you to know as a walk-on number one is coaches are freaking busy number two coaches probably get hundreds of emails in a certain time period from parents players other coaches and man, your email just might slip through and not get seen. Number three, coaches are focused on looking for worthy investments, AKA recruiting, AKA looking for scholarship players. So us walk-ons have to figure out a roundabout way to get in contact with the coaches so we can secure our walk-on tryout. Let me preface this with a little story, a personal story, and then we can get into the steps and write them down. Well, technically, I was recruited. A coach came and discussed me being a preferred walk-on at the end of my senior year in high school. Now, the whole summer, I was trying to reach this guy by phone and email. He wasn't answering any of it. The whole summer, I'm waiting and not really knowing what the future holds. I still decided to attend the school based on the hope that I would still be a preferred walk-on. Now it's time for freshman orientation and I still haven't heard anything. It's August, I believe, right before the year starts. So I'm at freshman orientation and they call out different groups. They say, oh, if you're an engineering, come here. If you're IT, come here. If you're an athlete, come to this group. Now, my hard head didn't listen to my dad. My dad said, go with athletes see if you can sneak in there with the athletes i didn't listen to him at first um, but eventually i said you know what let me go over here and get with the athletes so i snuck into the athletes group even though i didn't have a specific request from any coach to come with the athletes group on this tour with the athletes group we run into the athletic staff or the academic side of the athletic staff right so I'm just asking around, seeing if I can get in touch with this coach to see what's been going on. Finally, I get in touch with somebody or I sit in front of somebody that knows the coach. They give them a call and I finally have a conversation with them and we work out the next step. Now we won't get into more of the story because it was a whole bunch of obstacles after that. But that was how I finally got in contact with the coach and somewhat secure a walk-on tryout. So number one, email and call as many coaches as you can. A lot of times you'll either already have their contact or you can get online and look up the athletic staff. Email and call as many coaches as you can to you get that walk-on tryout. But as I mentioned before, a lot of us don't get responses on these emails or even when we call and leave a voicemail. So don't be shocked if that happens. And I gave some reasons of why that might happen before, earlier in the video, but there is also another theory. That theory is that coaches create a hard path to getting a walk on trial because they wanna see who's persistent because they know that this walk on experience is only for a certain set of people with a certain mindset that have a certain persistence to them. 
And I would agree with that. That being said, let's show them how persistent we are. So if you're not getting timely responses from the coaches, the next group of people I will go after are players. Now you can contact players on social media and or you can also contact coaches on social media, but you know for sure that players are on social media because that's our generation. But you should contact players and just ask them certain things like, oh, who should I be speaking with um, to get a walk on tryout? Who can you connect me with this coach? Can you let this coach know that I'm trying to reach him and get a walk on tryout? Things like that. See whatever information you can collect from the players. While you're waiting on responses from the players, also go after athletic staff. Now this can be the team managers, this can be the athletic director, somebody in the athletic director's office. And like I mentioned in my story, it was the people who handled academics for the athletic teams. Search online and see who you might be related to sports or that specific team because you never know who knows somebody that can get you in the door. But if you watch my other videos, you know how much endurance and persistence it takes to be a walk-on. And this is really one of the first steps, really one of the first tests for you to get your mind ready for how this whole walk-on experience is gonna be. Now, if you need help with putting emails or knowing what to say on phone calls to coaches or other athletic staff or whoever you contact trying to get a walk-on tryout, listen to this video, I have some tips for you. I appreciate y'all watching Sam Stitwater Walk On Coach. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and also visit the walkoncoach.com. Link is in the description um, so you can stay locked in and share the video because there's a lot of us out here that need this information. I know I did. That's why I share this information because I don't want y'all to have to be shocked and learn the hard way. I want this experience to be, it's going to be testing. It's going to test you. I can't stop that. But if you have the right information, you can prepare and easily overcome these obstacles. And that's the goal of this channel. Once again, I appreciate y'all watching. You can always find me on Instagram at to be great. That's T-O-B-E underscore great. And I'll see y'all next time.